All roads led to Detroit, and all eyes were on the Motor City as the fifth North American International Auto Show brought the newest, the hottest, the most exciting cars in the world to the vast floor of the city's beautiful Kobo Center. Detroit, the place that put the world on wheels at the beginnings of the century, has reestablished its global prominence in our last decade of the 1900s with this fabulously restyled and revitalized international auto exhibit. The Detroit show has moved to the front of auto show rankings, lying now with Frankfurt, Geneva, and Tokyo for international importance, attention, and prestige. A quick look around Kobo Center confirms the allure and impact of the Detroit show. Nearly 750 cars and trucks from seven countries were on display, including many vehicles making their worldwide and North American debuts. 3,000 journalists from the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Asia, and 28 television networks from around the world gathered in Motown to record the events and impact of Detroit 93. Let's take a look now at one aspect of that amazing North American International Auto Show. Clearly, the glamorous stars of this annual car lover's paradise were the concept cars that shine so brightly on the Kobo floor. Concept cars carry a certain mystique about them, a futuristic aura of hope and expectation. But auto designers will tell you that concepts are tools by which automakers learn and explore, and hopefully expand the envelope of industry limits and standards in design, engineering, and technology. Quote, they are never just design exercises, unquote, said Tom Gale of Chrysler, which as you will see, was a concept leader in Detroit in 1993. They light our way to the future by giving us valuable lessons, lessons that hopefully will someday pay off. Some concepts surprise, some even shock, but some become showstoppers, and best yet, become production vehicles, like the Dodge Viper that was a far-flung concept in 1989 and the production star in Detroit in 1992. Concepts, the vehicles of the future, the stuff dreams are made of. Let's take a look at these machines, aided by winning supermodels Sandy Flynn and Dawn Stern of the Star Search television series, as they and we survey the dazzling scene at Kobo Center.
now are the concept cars that took center stage in Detroit in 1993. Let's move towards the future by going back in time. Chrysler invoked a name from the past to point the way towards the year 2000 with the worldwide debut of its Thunderbolt concept vehicle. Sitting beside its predecessor, the original Thunderbolt concept Chrysler car introduced back in 1941, the newest Thunderbolt stood out from the crowd in Detroit. Just as its 1941 namesake set the trend for the full fender look of its era, the new Thunderbolt promises to blaze new trails as the potential future flagship for Chrysler. The car's beautiful and aerodynamic design incorporates Chrysler's unique cab-forward architecture, the company's trend-setting feature that places the wheels at the corner of the vehicle, adding to stability and increased passenger space inside. The car's interior offers room for four in its luxury coupe shape. With the front passenger side boasting a combination satellite navigation system and entertainment center, including video and computer capability. The rear wheel drive Thunderbolt is powered by a new Chrysler designed 4 liter 32 valve aluminum double overhead cam modular V8 engine, mated to a 4 speed electronic transmission. The engine produces 270 horsepower and is equipped with 4 wheel disc anti lock brakes, traction control, and all wheel independent suspension. In Detroit, the future and the past merged beautifully in the Chrysler Thunderbolt concept car. Another concept car from Chrysler, one that is entirely a futuristic design, is the Jeep Echo vehicle. A forward-looking line of Jeep designed to appeal to a new and more environmentally aware generation of drivers. Aerodynamic in its lines, Echo is constructed of recyclable aluminum and plastic components. Designed for disassembly for efficient and cost-effective recycling, the Echo is a two-door, four-passenger, four-wheel drive vehicle with lower plastic rafts designed to support and protect the upper body of this obviously lightweight vehicle. It is powered by an advanced technology lean burn two-stroke engine, one of Chrysler's Series 3 motors, a 1.5-liter all-aluminum three-cylinder engine with a unique fuel injection system placed amidship in the Echo. Echo is both a practical step towards fuel and auto economy and a futuristic glimpse into the environmentally friendly cars of the year 2000. Over at the Ford display, the Gia Focus is keeping pace with the hottest of the concept cars on the floor in Detroit. This Roadster convertible has been termed a dramatic blend of modern technology and traditional craftsmanship. Based on the new European Ford Escort Cosworth four-wheel drive, the high-performance focus was created to demonstrate that exciting sports car driving can be compatible with environmental and safety concerns. The instrument pod is dominated by a large central tachometer, and the large wraparound seats are asymmetrical in shape. The interior floor is finished in wood, as is the steering wheel rim. Riveted aluminum is also used in the interior. Developed as a fully drivable prototype, the Focus uses standard Ford mechanical components. Built on a shortened European Escort RS Cosworth floor pan, it is powered by a 227 PS turbocharged 16-valve engine and permanent four-wheel drive transmission. The exterior body panels are of a carbon fiber composite material, combining exceptional strength with lightweight. Ford describes the Focus as a sports car with a sense of fun and freedom, combined with the muscular look of a high-performance machine. It certainly has the look of a real winner.
A new concept in the compact pickup truck is the Ford Ranger Splash, a vehicle designed to appeal to young buyers, particularly women, who are crossing over from the car buying segment of the market. The Splash sports a flared pickup box, the only pickup with such a design in America. The box is made of tough plastic material, which helps to facilitate its more refined shape. The hauling and towing muscle of the Splash comes from a standard 2.3-liter electronically fuel-injected four-cylinder engine with optional 3.0 and 4.0-liter V6s available. Standard equipment on the Splash also includes sail-mount electric mirrors, a consolette with cup holders, 60-40 cloth split bench seat, and mud flaps on 4x4 models. Another Ford entry in the stakes to establish a truck for tomorrow is the Ranger Jukebox, a California-style lowrider and cruiser that is geared towards the young pickup driver. It features a dancing pickup bed that moves on a three-axis remote control hydraulic system. And oh yes, it sports a killer 2,500-watt stereo setup with eight speakers and the Ford JBL audio system, turning the jukebox into a traveling boombox. The Nautica Villager is based on the highly popular 1993 Mercury Villager minivan, but the concept version aims to take a step towards fun and luxury unlike any vehicle on the road today. The Nautica Villager made its worldwide debut in Detroit. Among its new features are front lights that reflect like chrome when viewed with the lights off, but function as traditional headlamps when the lights are turned on. Inside, an all-leather interior is trimmed in special leather grains. The carpeting is a plush molded ivory, and the Nautica features a premium sound system. It sports power rear vent windows and a power moonroof. High-mounted side smart mirrors use optical technology, displaying warning lights, such as brakes, turn signals backup or emergency lights in the mirror itself. These high-tech mirrors also diminish blind spots and assist in making lane changes. The offspring of the successful Mercury Villager, the Nautica Villager looks like a concept winner with a promising production future. Those of us old enough to remember the original pony car think wistfully back to 1965 in the introduction of the first Ford Mustang. Well, if you like the original Mustang, take it from anyone who is at the Detroit Auto Show, you're going to love its offspring. The new Mustang Mach 3 concept vehicle that stole the show in the Motor City. This baby seems a sure win, and all eyes were on the latest Mustang when it took to the Kobo center floor. Now, this open-air roadster features sculpted carbon fiber body panels, a short low windshield, wraparound rear bumper, cat's eye headlamps, and 19-inch five-spoke wheels. Mustang fans will recognize the open grille, three-bar taillight, and character lines along the door panels and air scoop. All touches reminiscent of the classic 60s Mustang. The twin cockpit interior is finished in deep sapphire leather. Simple and large white dials are positioned for the driver's convenience. The three-spoke wood rim steering wheel also calls back Mustang's 60s predecessors. High output speakers are mounted directly behind the head restraint. Everyone at the Kobo Center paid attention to this bright fluorescent red look into Ford's and the driving public's future. It comes with a supercharged 4.6 liter four valve V8 engine that puts out a cool 450 horsepower. With that, the Mustang Mach 3 seems well equipped to carry all of us and its considerable legacy beautifully and quickly into the next century.
Another dazzler at Kobo, both in style and form, besides Star Search supermodel Dawn Stern, of course, was the Pontiac Grand Prix show car, a close-to-production concept vehicle highlighted by special cladding. Grand Prix bears a distinctive exterior covered with 17 coats of a high gloss paint called Mountain Mist Pearl, which appear to make the car change colors from champagne to a nearly fluorescent green to a dark green, all depending on the angle and distance from which you viewed it on the auto show floor. This Pontiac concept sports a very wide, nearly rail to rail power sunroof that lifts up and back into a spoiler configuration. Powered by a 200 horsepower twin dual cam V6 engine, the Grand Prix is an eye-catching concept car that promises to do what the best of the concept vehicles do, become reality as a production model in the future, and in this car's case, the very near future. It seems obvious that Dawn, for one, looks forward to someday owning and driving the Grand Prix show car. Here's a riddle. What's purple and chartreuse with a roll top, an extra swinging door on the driver's side, and a special tool crib built into its left side? If you said the Batmobile, you're wrong. You're close, but you're wrong. It's the new Chevrolet Highlander concept pickup truck. The company's bold design destined for a strong future in the pickup field. Besides its sporty look and new amenities, the Highlander features an 8mm videotape and TV unit built into the back of the driver's seat, so it can be watched from inside the truck bed. And the interior is as daring as its exterior. The chartreuse and purple paint theme continues. Many of us have long wondered where the next great chartreuse and purple vehicle was coming from. All in all, a bold beauty. The Chevy Highlander will be a force to be reckoned with in the pickup competition wars. Another pickup contender of the future that was unveiled in Detroit was the GMC Santa Fe, a new concept in full-size pickups. Featuring a Western theme inside and out, the Santa Fe is a half-ton full-sizer with the combination of an extended cab and sports side box. GMC Truck considers the Santa Fe to be its latest example of incorporating technology-oriented engineering with luxury comfort and convenience features in a light-duty truck. Powered by a 5.7-liter V8, the Santa Fe produces 210 horsepower. The transmission is an electronically controlled four-speed automatic, first introduced in GMC Truck's 1993 models. The Santa Fe is a prime concept example of luxury and technology in an attractive package. At the ASC display on the huge Kobo Center floor, the future is now. Concept cars and trucks incorporating new designs and technologies are the staples of ASC's forward-looking, customizing approach. At the 1993 Detroit Auto Show, ASC once again provided showgoers with a tantalizing look into the automotive styles of tomorrow. This beauty is an ASC Buick Park Avenue, redesigned and carrying the special ASC touch. The body of the Park Avenue is finished in champagne pearl. The interior is retrimmed in a mixture of beige and charcoal leather. ASC trim constructed twin bucket seats are offset by a center console with dual cellular phones. In addition, it sports a fax machine for drivers who really have to communicate with the outside world. Its exterior features a new ground effects package flowing into unique front and rear fascias.
ASC's goal in customizing this Buick Park Avenue is to revamp an already successful car, providing total comfort and reliability in a beautiful concept package. Probably the vehicle receiving the most attention and the longest looks at the ASC display was this beautiful Corvette LT1 Spider. ASC describes the Spider as an exciting new look for America's sports car, and obviously with very eye-pleasing results. The Corvette Spider's interior sports a body color console and dual color sports seats. It has a restyled rear deck lid with integrated speakers and performance headrest contours. The color of the Corvette LT1 Spider by ASC is Riverside Red. Also new on the Spider are gill panels and restyled side view mirrors. ASC's total upgrade package serves to make this hot Corvette an even more attractive presence. Another eye-catcher at ASC is this Nissan 300ZX2 Plus 2 with an articulating hardtop which allows it to convert from its four-passenger mode to a two-passenger convertible. And the Nissan 300ZX is a real beauty, shining in its coat of yet another exotic ASC paint coat. This time, it's Mallorca Green Pearl. Yes, it looks blue, but trust us. The hardtop is made of metal, and with the touch of a button, retracts and folds into a rear storage area. Now, this is blue. Officially called High Voltage Electric Blue Pearl, to be exact, coloring this ASC Ford Ranger open air flare. The open air flare features wraparound rear glass, along with a venting rear backlight that gives the vehicle a unique open air driving feel. The oversized ASC spoiler sunroof helps to accentuate that open air comfort. The bed is finished in wood with stainless steel runners. The ASC Ranger open air flare sports a special ground effects package and offers a look into the vehicle enhancement capabilities of trucks in the automotive future. This Cadillac Seville also gets the ASC special concept treatment. Making its world debut in Detroit, this ASC Cadillac Seville Coupe is called a three-dimensional study in four-door to two-door vehicle conversion by its engineers. The Seville sports two cellular phones amid its black leather interior. It also shines with custom chrome factory wheels. This converted four-door is another attractively revamped ASC model. ASC applies its new convertible technology to this concept car, the new Saturn Coupe Plus Roadster. This innovative vehicle allows for room for two or four. With the top up, it's a coupe with a seating capacity of four. When the top is down, it becomes a two-seat roadster. The Coupe Plus Roadster is finished in Mediterranean coral pearl, but of course, and sports a factory cloth seating package. The manual top folds over the rear seating area and is constructed of strong and lightweight carbon fiber. The ASC Coupe Plus Roadster is an intriguing concept, another eye-grabbing headliner from the forward-looking innovators at ASC. While so many concept cars seem to garner special attention in Detroit, the Porsche Boxster was one that received extra notice when it was unveiled, even being named best in show by one prestigious automobile publication. Designed as a roadster for the mid-1990s that would cost under $40,000, the Boxster is an open cockpit mid-engine two-seat vehicle. Projected as Porsche's leading effort to retain the company's strong presence in the sports car field in coming years, the Boxster follows in the tracks of famous Porsches, like the 550 Spyder and the RS60 of past decades.
Supermodel Sandy obviously likes the chances of the TV-equipped Boxster to take its place among the Porsche legends. The company calls it a pure sports car for tomorrow. And looking at the Boxster, it is easy to see why they have such high hopes for this sleek concept beauty. Another world-class beauty getting its international unveiling in Detroit was the Hyundai HCD2. A two-plus-one sport coupe touted as a true sports car with the practicality of a coupe. This concept star has a unique two-plus-one seating configuration, allowing designers to achieve the aggressive and exciting look of the HCD2 with the comfortable three-seat arrangement. The front-wheel drive HCD2 has an elegantly executed interior combined with classic exterior styling. It is powered by an all-new 2.0-liter narrow-angle double-overhead cam 16-valve four-cylinder engine, turning out 150 horsepower. Hyundai describes the HCD2 as a serious driver's car and says it is firmly committed to having an HCD2-based coupe in production by 1997. Another attention getter in Detroit was the Toyota AXV3, an advanced concept vehicle that is said to offer a peek at the environmental, safety, and convenience systems of the cars of the future. This high-tech concept car has an inner console that moves with the seat, keeping all controls in the same position for the driver. The AXV3 uses a global positioning system to pinpoint the vehicle on navigation displays even sporting a voice synthesizer that gives verbal instructions concerning upcoming intersections and street directions. The AXV3 not only features passenger and driver side airbag, but additional airbags in the doors to provide added impact protection. The Toyota AXV3 is also environmentally sound, employing a lean burn fuel system and designed for easy recycling. In all, an obvious winner at Detroit this year and on the highways of the future is the Toyota AXV-3. If a glimpse into the past prompted the debut of Thunderbolt for Chrysler, then nothing less than a wholesale leap into nostalgia was the guiding principle behind the amazing debut of the Plymouth Prowler at Detroit in 93. While the car's striking design seems to define the hot rod look of the late 40s and early 1950s, the Prowler concept vehicle incorporates all the pluses of modern car technology, including dual airbags, high-tech front and rear bumpers, and modern lighting requirements. Its powerful and efficient 3.5-liter 24-valve overhead cam V6 engine features unique headers to produce 240 horsepower. A high-speed drive shaft transmits power from the engine to the rear wheels, employing usage of a rear-mounted four-speed transaxle borrowed from Chrysler LH technology. The beautiful all-aluminum chassis features pushrod suspension and lightweight aluminum body panels. Indeed, the Plymouth Prowler, one of the hottest attractions at Detroit 93, stands as a testament to the adaptability and innovation of Chrysler technology and design, a company that has looked back to lead the way to an exciting and promise-filled automotive future. And nowhere in the world was that promise more in evidence or more beautifully displayed than on the floor of Cobo Center in Detroit. In the design and stylings of the hottest concept cars in the world, Thank you, Dawn Stern, thank you, Sandy Flynn, and thank you for joining us in this special look at the 1993 North American International Auto Show. I'm J.P. McCarthy from the motor capital of the world, Detroit, Michigan.